Burton Batman films seem to be, they, I mean, they look to Citizen Kane most of all. Bruce Wayne even sounds like Kane, doesn't he? And, and of course, you know, Kane is malformed for life by losing his parents at an early age as well. All through the, the Batman stories, it's about how yeah, terrible experiences in early life malform people. I mean, it's what happened to Batman, but it's what happens to everybody in these films. I remember in the second movie, the first time you see the bat signal go up, it shines in the sky, and then they've got these mirrors and reflectors on top of Wayne Manor that reflect it down onto Bruce, who's sitting in the study just like this, just waiting. And you see the guy has no purpose in life at all other than just sit there and wait for that light to come in. And once the light shines on his face, he's alive. The fact we were seeing more of the character out there to sense of like, no, Batman's always out there. He's out there like every night doing something. And that was a key thing to making the legend work. Are you concerned about that strange, heroic penguin person? I think he knows who his parents are. He's a weird character, you know? He's somebody who likes to remain mm. hidden and, and in some ways repressed. And that's a hard thing to portray in a kind of a, an extreme comic book movie. Michael just, you know, was very, after going through one of them, he came into it with real strength and, and, and knowing of the character. So, and it, it, it helps because it gives it the foundation and it makes it Batman. When Tim and I talked about doing the character again, I wasn't necessarily looking to expand the character in terms of more lines, more to do. I, he and I both agreed, let's just take the things we've discovered now because we had to figure it out in the first movie. and see what really are the best parts of him and make those parts richer. I'd done the movie once before, so I knew the fundamentals. The romantic aspect was another level that we didn't get to see in the first one. And I was more relaxed because I was in LA. I've gone to my own home at the end of the day. For me, there were a lot of aspects that were more enjoyable. Mistletoe can be deadly if you eat it. I guess it can be even deadly. He's the only actor I know who would go through my script and goes, I should say less here. I should say less here. I had so many angry Batman rant speeches. And he's like, eh, the, Batman would never say that. Like, you know, go, Batman should just say this line right here. And, you know, usually he was right. He definitely wanted to go darker all the time, which was fine with us. A lot of people complained that, that our Batman actually killed people. And like some purists were saying, like, well, Batman would never kill people. But I would always say, we don't live in the time where you can drop criminals off with a net on the front of City Hall. You know, the times are darker, so you, you know, you've got to make your character darker.